Texas Senator Ted Cruz said it had been a mistake for him to call the January 6th attack at the Capitol a terrorist attack after he received pushback from supporters of former President Trump. During an appearance on Fox News, Tucker Carlson tonight, Cruz told Carlson that what, what, he, sa what he said the day prior was sloppy and frankly dumb, adding that people were misunderstanding what he was trying to say. It was a mistake to say that yesterday and the reason is what you just said, which is we're now, we've now had a year of Democrats and the media twisting words and trying to say that all of us are terrorists, trying to say you're a terrorist on a terrorist, Cruz told Carlson. In a Twitter thread, Cruz explained that he had made the remark about terrorism regarding only the people who attacked police officers in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. I was not calling the thousands of peaceful protesters on January 6th terrorists. I would never do so. I have repeatedly, explicitly said the opposite, denouncing the Democrats' shameful efforts to do so and to try to paint every Trump voter in America as terrorist and insurrectionist. During a Senate Rules Committee meeting, on Wednesday, Cruz called the Capitol insurrection a violent terrorist attack, according to Newsweek. We are approaching a solemn anniversary this week, Cruz, Cruz said, and it's an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol where we saw the men and women of law enforcement demonstrate incredible courage, the incredible bravery, risk their lives to defend the men and women who served in the, this Capitol. Cruz's comments drew criticism for the comments from several conservative figures, including Trump White House advisor Sebastian Gorka and conservative commentator John Cordillo. So this is something that I find very sad um, because this is another case of a politician allowing their um, ambition to override their common sense. Let's say in a hypothetical Sanders didn't, you know, he was the nominee for the Democrats in this hypothetical and he loses. And then me and a bunch of Sanders supporters uh, storm the Capitol to try and change the results while they're casting the votes to certify the election in favor of whoever defeated them in this, again, hypothetical. Even if no one died, the fact that we would try to violently and completely in a non-democratic manner go into this building, storm it, and do so for the purpose of overriding the votes of the people on the conspiracy theory that the votes were changed or the election was stolen, would be seen as something akin to what a terrorist would do. Um, and it's it's so sad to watch Cruz get it right, you know, to, to call this what it was and say uh, the thousand of peaceful protesters. What's peaceful about breaking windows and storming into people's offices and stealing their stuff, which is something that we saw happen during the, um, the insurrection last year. You know, and he, he sits here and he says that they try to paint uh, him as a terrorist and Carlson as a terrorist. No, they're t people who are calling those that supported Trump terrorists are specifically referring to the individuals who stormed the Capitol for the purpose of changing the results because they were butthurt he didn't win the election. So if you didn't go up there and break things and act insane, you weren't called this. But out of the stupidity of Cruz and his really just egotism, because he wants to be the nominee in, in three years, uh, or rather two years, I should say, he'll allow them to, to have this weird, flimsy narrative of, oh, they're just saying this about everyone that supports Trump. Well, no, they're talking specifically about people who did something violent um, and, again, you know, anti-democratic. So it's it's sad to see one of the few times where I would agree with him. He just he has to turn on it because he wants to run for president and he can't lose these insane people not voting for him in the primary and then the general election if he were to win.